it's a weird one because the fa the you know the most famous, most recognisable Group B car, uh, Hammer V2, is not really that good in terms of actual competitiveness on the leaderboards. But uh, V1 and V3 are both solid cars. My favourite car. In terms of the car that I, out of all of the cars, like the most, it would be the, um, the Kingpin. I really like the Esky here. The Mini's pretty cool, but the the Esky I've enjoyed. Uh, the Kingpin here, specifically that livery of it. Colin McRae. Quite liking this car at the minute. Group B, I think my favourite was the Hyena. To be honest, I think I that's fun, but I think the Hyena in group B. Uh, turbo Brick, absolutely the Turbo Brick in group 4. I think the car that surprised me that I liked it the most, because I didn't know any cars from group... The Esky and the Mini were the only real cars I knew from group 2. But Group 3, I didn't know any of these cars. You can obviously say the Ford Escort, but I didn't really know any. I'm going to be right back. just need to go and do something. Right, we're back. Yeah, uh, I think that's got to be what surprised me the most, the rotary, because I didn't know any of these cars at all, particularly. Um, so yeah, the rotary surprising me. Right, let's get into it then. Yeah, my favourite car in the is the DLC car from Group A. It's the car that... Um, So there's a couple of a couple of reasons I like the Kingpin a lot, and I was I, when I saw it was being added to the game, I was like, "Oh, cool! That's really cool." Uh, it's the only it's one of the few cars because I don't really follow cars that much. I like racing games, and that forces me to go into the car side of racing games. But I like going fast in games. I like time trialing. The Kingpin. It's a car that a couple of people I knew and family members had. And it's a car that Colin McRae drove when I was first watching rally highlights. I'd wake up in the morning and go downstairs and they'd have the motorsporting highlights on the BBC. Uh, and then on ITV. 
and they'd have the F1, they'd have the BTCC, they'd have the touring cars, they'd have some German touring cars, but they'd have the rally, and Colin McRae was in that car when I were a young'un. So it's kind of one of the first cars I really remember from rallying. A lot of the rest of the cars, I don't know. I learned about most of the other cars. I learned about, in this game, I learned about all the Group B cars after I started playing this game and started watching videos on YouTube, rally videos. Yeah, that's in the Australia DLC, as is the tracks that I'm driving at the minute in yeah, Australia. It's a good DLC. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. And realistically, the DLC is Australia itself, the tracks, 12 new tracks. Um, not the cars, unless you particularly like a car. So I've got absolutely no care for any of the other cars in, uh, in there. They're all right. Maestro and Scholar in Group 4 and B. They're one or the other way around. Uh, they they hold their own in their classes. They're not meta-breaking. And they're not... But with a barrel, you can use them. This is good. Kingpin again. It's... Uh, well, Kingpin's kind of a pay-to-lose car because it is actually a bit worse than some of the other cars but that's partially a joke it still holds its own it's a valid car to use group A is very balanced despite only having six cars uh, group A is very balanced it is insane that group A I only realised it yesterday when I counted them Group A has six cars, one of which is a bonus DLC car. Group S, which never actually raced, has eight cars. And Group A technically isn't even just Group A, because that Subaru is a WRC car, not a Group A car. Yeah, this is, uh, Australia is a fantastic set of tracks. Really fast, really foot to the floor, whole time. Definitely built for the faster classes because it can get a bit boring in the slower classes. Just feels like you're waiting, waiting to get to the end of some of these sections in the slower classes.
Yeah, yeah, it's it's very fast like Kenya. It's not quite I think it's it almost is a cross between Kenya and Indonesia. So you've got Kenya, you're either going up or you're going down. Like quite a lot. You're climbing mountains. Australia, no real mountains, but it's never flat either. It's very undulating, same as Indonesia, but not quite as not quite as jarring as Indonesia, where it's very steeply up, very steeply down. There'd be no cuts through that valley, just there. It'd be straight over the top of the hill in Indonesia. Um, but in Kenya's not this fast. Kenya has a lot more tight sections. There are there's one map where you can pretty much full foot to the floor in the dry at least if you're brave enough you can never let go of the accelerator I can't remember which one it is but yeah you just you just go and you can make it all the way around without breaking if you're brave enough I can't But Australia is insanely fast. Australia is the only place in the game where I think you could possibly get the logging truck into fifth gear and genuinely need that fifth gear. Super good maps though, super good. Yeah, yeah, Kenya's Kenya's a great country. I think Kenya's probably my favourite. It's worth it. I think I'm gonna go first for speedruns after I've finished all this. I think I'll be going to Kenya in Group S. This car in Kenya.
I have the graphics set to extremely low at the minute because my computer overheated and shut off the other week. So I'm taking good care of it. If I hear my GPU fans spin up to maximum, I've got to check the temperature. So yeah, the game doesn't look great, but... Uh I'm not a sucker for graphics. I don't really mind. It It's quite nice because it does blow my mind when I do see people who have the graphics on high. I'm like, whoa, that game's so pretty. Whereas I've just played on pure mush all the time. In everything I ever do. Perfectly good temperatures up there, 65 degrees. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. It's not too bad at the minute. It was the other day it was really hot. Just the the country <laughs> that I live in. <laughs> the world and therefore my bedroom were very hot. And that didn't help things. But my computer just was so hot it just went boop, off. And that wasn't good. That was uh, what we can tend to consider suboptimal, to be honest. Yeah, if you turn the graphics up a little bit, it does make you feel a bit faster. Because you start to get all the smoke billowing out from behind you and stuff like that.
That was a super fast section. You can keep it going over the top of there if you're a bit more careful than I was. Alright, see ya. Have fun, hope to see you on another stream. Have a good sleep. Thank you very much for following, thank you for dropping by.
Dogs. Sometimes I just get stuck. <laughs> flat beams to the floor from the start. Stepped out on me there.
Ah, shit. around the hole. Boom. Boom, 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 boom.
30, 55, 618. Lovely job. Cheers, Turbo.